What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this featured collection section right here. I'm gonna quickly show you how the functionality of that one looks like. So if we hover and click on those tabs right here you can see it's gonna switch to the certain collection we put in there. I think it's a really nice way to give the customers a little overview on what products you're actually offering in your store and everything you can see right here when it comes to colors, texts, gaps in between those is customizable and I'll show you how you can do that for your very own store. All right, let's jump right into it. The first thing I did for that was that I headed on over to the Shopify App Store where I got the Section Store app. Section Store is a component library with over 200 fully customizable components, Shopify exclusive, and even after getting the section, you can still delete the app afterwards and still remain with the section itself because it's not deleting the code out of your store and it's going to be super fast. All right, let's look for the section we're going to be installing today. So it's the feature collection for, like I said already, it's a subscription app and the app itself is completely free. But this does come with a one-time charge of $9. I mean, if you bought it once, you will own it forever. And you're not going to need any expensive developer or whatsoever who's going to build that into your store. And at the end of the day, you can also customize it. So I think those are a few really nice benefits which speak for themselves. Okay, after getting the section, there's one final thing you have to do is that you head back to the My Section areas of the app and then click on Add to Theme, add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme, but it does work on every theme. And then simply just open up the theme editor, which I've already done. So there you can see the one we saw in the beginning of the video. We're gonna start completely from scratch. So let's just save this up. Perfect, click on Add Section and type in Featured Collectioner, that is the one we saw. So the first thing I would like to do is actually select a Collectioner for the first one right here. So if I click on that whole thing, I can scroll down here a little bit and click on Select Products. Let that load up for a second. There we go. And just grab a bunch of those. So it's getting filled with content. I think six is a good number for that. We're gonna select those and now I wanna add those other blocks as well. So we click here, click on tab, and we wanna show six again. Perfect. And the thing I wanna do here is select backpacks. We're gonna do the same here. Also set it to six. Here we're gonna chug in our shoes collection. And the last thing we're gonna put in there is going to be the sweaters collection, which we're also gonna set to six. Let's save it up real quick to make sure all of our changes got successfully implemented. And if I click on here, you can already see the correct, the correct collections and products are getting displayed, which makes us being able to jump to the next step and that is going to be customize a few of the colors and text sizes instead of recommended. We're gonna do all our collections. We will use a custom font for that. Make it a little bit smaller and I wanna have that centered. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive as well. We did it in mind with having it for mainly mobile stuff a little cross arrow here and the tabs title are going to be like that and I want to have them a little bit more padding so they're a bit more sizey and the gap is good and I want them to be aligned in the middle as well because I think that looks a bit more visually appealing and yeah a bunch of other things we can do to that whole thing you can use a little box shadow to the cards and yeah that is that much to that. You can also use meta fields to get all the data from that. And here I would like to change some colors too. So we're gonna give this this little orange look. Kinda ignore the hover. And the next thing I would like to do is give them also a little background. Oh we don't want that. Let's maybe try black on those, but then of course we have to change the font color inside of that block. That's looking nice. I think that's a really good contrast on those. And 
yeah, that's pretty much that. And also the background color is something I would like to change. Maybe we're gonna go with a soft yellow. Yeah, that's really good contrast. Of course you can do it however you prefer because you wanna align it with the brand identity of your store, but that's just a quick example of what you can do with all the customization options here. All right, let's have a final look at it in the live version. Open it up right here and I will check out if it will work successfully. That is looking good. Let's see if those collections work as well. And that is looking fine to me. I'm happy with that and I hope you guys are as well. And if you are, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.